games didn't change much since 2003. You can just run what you've always run. You know that you can only enter a tournament if you play with a dual disc? Yeah, don't read your cards. Just go off what they do in the anime. It'll be fine. Definitely cater your side deck to whatever you're playing against on Dueling Book. Spot removal? Well, I always run man or bug. Don't play Pot of Desires. It's a neg nine. Monsters that require two or three tributes are much stronger, so you should run as many of those as possible. Oh, what? No, you don't need a nice calculator. You can just use an abacus to keep life. I only buy blisters and mystery power boxes. Don't play three Psalm Judgments. That's too much light points you have to pay. No, you don't need to read your cards. Just learn the rules in the moment. That's what everybody does. Oh yeah, that field center with the big titties is very tasteful. I always main three trap holes. No one's ever expecting to have three trap holes. $50? Yo, that's too much for one card. Man, I can't figure out a 15th card for my extra deck. That's yeah, all right, I don't need it. You know, Magic Cylinder is still a staple at three. I mean, no matter what deck they're playing, they only have 8,000 life points. Do you want to get good at Yu-Gi-Oh? You have to play Ultra Geist. Look, if you're gonna run an archetype, it has to be pure. No, you don't really have to go by the ban list. I mean, it's kind of just more of a suggestion than a rule. What? You didn't pull it? I guess it's time for you to buy two more boxes. Oh no, man, you don't need to buy new sleeves, just clean them. Just put all five pieces of Exodia in your deck. You never know when you'll get that lucky win. Yeah, I'm sure Ghost Tricks will be strong next format. Run as many cards as you want. The more cards you have in your deck, the more combos. I always play three Waking the Dragons in my deck. 100% of the time, when it resolves, I win that game. Sleeves and a playmat? Dude, Yugi didn't even use either of these things. They're just holding you back. If you lose a dice roll, then scoop. There's no point in playing until your opponent's bored. Play Upstart Goblin and three Reckless Greed. That's what Patrick Hoban used to do. Yo, do you know what's the best negate card in the game? MST. You're just looking for that one last card? Yeah, just keep buying more packs. Bro, no, this is bad. This is bad. Look, just look, just use my deck for the tournament, okay? You wanna know how to get better? Just practice all day on YGO Pro. Three ofs are an odd number, which means they're mathematically incorrect. So yeah, don't run that. Oh yeah, you can definitely proxy for a regional. You play three Nibiru? No, no, man, that's wrong. Only play two Nibiru. Cause you wanna see it sometimes, but not all the time. Remember, any card that was good enough for Yugi's deck should be good enough for you. You still didn't pull it? Look. Just go 50-50 with me on this case I bought. I got a good price for it. You wanna win a YCS? Just play True Draco. The only difference between TCG and OCG cards is the language. Yeah, I don't really think you need a side deck. I mean, you can just make your main deck really good. Look, bro, I wouldn't eat before a tournament. You gotta stay focused. Yeah, I definitely think you should try a sealed only challenge. Oh, you want your locals today? You definitely win a YCS. Don't even bother with Yu-Gi-Oh. Just play Magic the Gathering instead.